Hey man, marketing team, it's Myron here at Vendast. I wanted to give you your introduction through how to best use Sales and Success Center. Just going to use uh, Ed's account here as a bit of a, an explanation. So I'm just going to first of all impersonate into his uh, sales pipeline. Okay. So first things first, when we land on this screen, what we're really looking at is the manage accounts ability here. So that being said, uh, this is how you kind of determine how to prioritize your day based upon the flame alerts um, that are kind of scored here within the different accounts, different dealerships, whatever it might be. But those flame alerts are from an algorithmic um, solution that we have that basically grades these accounts based upon engagement, opens, actions, emails, all kinds of things. So typically you want to start your day by checking out uh, who's kind of hot and who's not, and maybe start your day there with some of those action items. Um, quick searchability here as well. You can always sort through your accounts. If you're like Ed and has over 200 you know, clients here to look through, uh, obviously you can search through that and filter by many, many different actions here on the left side. Getting into an account, walking you through what we're really going to see inside, typically what we want to always have is some kind of an opportunity so that we can slowly build revenue forecasting models and see kind of the true story of the sales pipeline. So in this case, no opportunities, um, just a couple of kind of generic features and functions on the side, general contact information. We do have a place here to edit and add notes that you want place for anyone to be able to see. And of course, if you do want a little bit more direction, you can also assign yourself tasks that you have to go and complete for certain accounts. With the kebab here on the right side, we do have a bunch of other options. You can um, definitely uh, check out editing contact. If you want to hook up a phone line as like an asterisk, click the call. You can actually call right out of the CRM um, or, of course, even start a screen share with some of our available options. If you need to edit the actual business information at any point in time, this is the business profile um, general info here. Click the pencil and these changes will come across and sync right back into Partner Center as well. So one of the things I want to teach you is about creating opportunities. We use this religiously here internally, and I think you should as well. Creating an opportunity means basically this is something that we want to track now and work up until we can get some type of a close or commitment to revenue. So depending on what lead stage you're at, chances are you're probably more than qualified talking to your own clients, a lot of them probably existing customers of yours. So maybe you want to start at that qualified stage or maybe you're at a proposal. Then the items that you can see here will be only items that have been enabled in the marketplace and or configured in the store. So packages would be items that basically you have labeled out as packages. And of course, the products would be anything that has been enabled in general from the marketplace. Um, other items, additives that are not in packages. So maybe I wanted to have alpha SEO and a monthly blog going out to dealership on top of their uh, Facebook dynamic ad retargeting campaign. Um, and maybe some other items as you know, social posting plans. Now as I select that, I can say that I think that's going to actually be maybe a six month commitment if I can get them to sign on that and this will slowly tally up and build up a revenue model for this particular dealership um, and then it shows it right at the top of the screen here. You can always adjust expected close dates so you can see your pipeline forecasting in different flavors and then of course now we want to work out of the opportunity. So whether you're in the regular account we always want to make sure that when we're logging actions and activities that we are adding it to uh, the opportunity here. Now this opportunity we can always rename and call it Land Rover Digital So now every single time I log an action I can make sure that I am making those and associated to that particular opportunity or I can also do it out of the main account screen here and always select the opportunity. And that way we can kind of understand at deeper level how much work you're putting into closing these types of accounts. The other thing would be once we maybe have gotten a yes from the customer, inside the opportunity here we have the ability in the top right corner to either immediately create an order or close the opportunity, whether it's won or lost. Um, that way we can track it in the leaderboards if it's won. If you go to create an order, basically this will tally up everything that's inside that order start your contract date for today, six months. You can attach anything for administration or for the customer to see as well. And here would be the total roll up of what those contents would be. Next, if I did click continue, it's gonna get actually into 
uh, the summary and the order forms of what we need as far as information goes to be able to order these and get them right into Bendasa's marketing services and over to, uh, to Taryn and her squad. So these items here, lightly fill them out. If you do have questions, you can always leave them as NA and connect with the vendor or connect with us and we can always collect that information later. Once you've clicked submit, this does track on the left side of your screen here under orders and whoever's an admin will then receive basically notification that Ed has now made an order uh, to place for Land Rover Lake Bluff. Okay, gonna X out of this. So once we slowly build up a revenue pipeline, basically that's gonna be under your pipeline view, which now we can see from before we had a different test, now we have this other opportunity here that's in a proposal stage. So you can always drag these across different stages if you're in the board view on the top right here. We can see potential revenue overall. You can click on these. You can quickly look at activities, edit the expected close dates, change the, uh, the staging of it. Um, also, if you wanna look at Medic sales process, you can kind of determine where you're at with that next sale and a lot of other items here as well. And of course, you could always just click the name here and take you into the account details. So this is called the board view. You can also add filters like expected close dates. If you only, only wanna see what ad revenue you can maybe forecast into the next quarter, you can always just pick apart certain products and salespeople. Then we also have the table view. The table view is kind of more of a, a spreadsheet look as far as things go. It is exportable as well. Um, if you wanna kind of analyze this in different flavors and different screens, different systems, um, and that's gonna be the pipeline view. Now obviously with us, we use this religiously. So my director, my VP, my CRO are basically always going in there and sorting and looking around to make sure that all the reps are gonna hit certain numbers and they have a good handle on uh, the forecast. So basically, as far as things go with us, we use this religiously internally here at Pedasa to track every potential piece of revenue coming in um, in its greatest form. Okay, the other thing that we have um, beyond the pipeline here is going to be events and meetings. So we actually have launched something now that is live that is called Book Me Now. And that is like a Calendly uh, version uh, that Vendasta has built. So booking software that allows you to basically connect different calendars, Outlook, Google, whatever it might be, sync up with your Hangouts, your Zoom accounts, and even Crankwheel, and then configure your availability. Then you can basically put this in your email signature and have people just schedule right into your calendar. And of course, you'd be able to have a, a bit of a view into what your week or days are gonna look like as far as things go right inside the platform. Leaderboards, once again, will be tracked based upon uh, whatever is closed one um, and closed lost, probable, everything else. So once you start using the opportunities and assigning revenue to this, um, it'll be a lot easier to kind of see that lens or you can always toggle back to different date ranges as well. A view of your own orders, of course, to see what you have submitted, what's activated, what's pending. Make sure obviously that someone didn't miss something and it's you know two weeks behind now. Tasks, once again, is basically digital sticky notes. If you wanted to basically see certain things that you've committed to a client and what you need to basically go and complete in progress, waiting on customer, all of these items here. The loop is essentially a sales timeline feed of what's going on inside of your organization as far as uh, you know, basically touch points with customers. So you can, of course, fil filter and sort um, this in many, many different ways really an easy bird's eye view into what folks are doing and who they're talking to and you know what they're talking about as far as things go. And then of course resources. Products would be anything that you have enabled from the marketplace and you can always dive into those and grab those resources. The store is of course your storefront and sales is just deeper dives into some of these sales tools and items that we've included in the platform as far as things go. Um, if you want to go back into Partner Center here, of course, the other thing to mention is, um, you know, being able to access the Conquer Local Academy, which gets you right inside of our LMS system. So the LMS, the learning management system, is gonna be packed full of resources, curriculum, courses, quizzes, things to help you even understand Vendasta and digital marketing for that matter in a very, very deep sense. There's a community where partners can connect. They can actually form groups and work with one another, and there's workshops. So tons and tons of extra learning here. Um, you know, if you have some spare time, um, glass of wine, maybe have a beer, sit down, um, hack through these every once in a while, tons and tons of good learning and live training from, you know, even the king of Facebook, Dennis Yu himself, um, that we've partnered up with. So all in all, the CRM can be very powerful. However, you can have a very simple track through it. Um, please let me know if you have any other questions. Once again, I would suggest you start logging all of your actions, emails, receives, 
calls and that way we can kind of have a deeper angle and look and see you know um you know how much effort is put into bringing on new clients for you and of course forecasting revenue in a more meaningful way thanks have a wonderful day